to see hair follicles, we need to go back to thin skin. This slide shows us thin skin, and the tip of the pointer is actually on the pillus, which is a hair. So the structure that encloses that hair is the hair follicle. We're going to take a little closer look at this hair follicle in just a minute. Hair follicles are derived from the epidermis. You can see the epidermal layer dipping down to form a sac around that hair follicle, I mean, that form around the hair or the pillus, and forming the follicle. And we'll take a look at that now. Here, the tip of the pointer is on the hair follicle cut uh, down within the dermis. You actually see a sac formed with a layer of cells that looks very similar to the epidermis because it is of epidermal derivation. Over to the right, you see something that looks sort of like a cut through a cauliflower. That is a sebaceous gland. Hair follicles are always found in association with sebaceous or oil glands. Now that the tip of the pointer is on that sebaceous gland or oil gland, this uh, gland is made up of a bunch of cells that secrete uh, oil products. Those oil products move through ducts into the follicle where the hair or the pillus is, and then those oily products move up through the follicle and out onto the skin for protection. Over to the um, right, you see a big uh, oblong circle-like thing. That is actually just a cut through another hair follicle, just at a little different angle. Here is another cut through a hair follicle. The tip of the pointer is about where the pillus would be, although we haven't cut directly through the pillus. How hair follicles look to us on the slide depends how the follicle was cut. If it was cut longitudinally, it's going to look like a long, loopy opening. But if it was cut in cross-section, it's just going to look like a circle. This hair follicle looks like it was cut rather obliquely, as did the very last one I referred to. Here we have a parting view of several hair follicles that have been longitudinally cut. We're viewing them on a lower power. I believe this is scanning. But you can see longitudinal cuts, kind of cutting diagonally across the field of view. And on the one on the left, where the tip of the pointer is, if you look up toward the free surface, you can actually see that pillus or hair emerging from the top of the hair follicle. Hair follicles can be cut longitudinally, transversely, and even obliquely. In this slide, we see a variety of cuts again through hair follicles. The tip of the pointer is at the base uh, or the bulb of the hair follicle, but uh, you can see probably it looks like maybe six or seven hair follicles cut at varying angles in thin skin. Again, hair follicles are epidermal derivatives, so the, the dye or the stain in the hair follicle will match that of the epidermis.